in Marseille. Tell your father the brother's name is Pestan in Marseille. My father's dead, too. He always said his friend, Mr. O'Day, would help me if I needed him. And so when he died and there was nobody, I wrote him a letter and I came here. I, I thought maybe he could give me a job. Give <laughs> you a job? Oh, I didn't expect to be paid or anything. I just wanted to have some place to stay and something to do. I can work very hard, sir. You should see how I can work. And I'm very willing and tidy. And I'm very, very strong. I thought maybe you'd be sir. Well, now perhaps I could use a helper. A man does get lonely, working by himself. Let me think it over. Oh, I know I can help you, sir. You see, I like selling things to people, especially beautiful things like these. And when somebody likes their work, they try twice as hard and they sell twice as much. I know I can help you, sir. Did you ever in your life see such a lot of wonderful things? Every shelf is stacked, so jam-packed that you have to hang the rest on strings. What a very nice saucer.
join you inside, but it's nice and cozy, and we can talk this whole thing over. I, I am a very nice man, <laughs> with a very nice face. <laughs>
What you want is guns. The puppets. Both. We can't The puppets pay. are not enough, Jaco. I don't want to spend my life crawling the back roads of every second-rate country in Europe making dolls dance. There's more to this, there's more to me, something in me that needs to do more than suck the breath from life like moss and leaves and weeds do. Holding up my hand, holding down a place, being worth a name to go with my face, I've got to find. Take this, Chaco. But Paul, what will we do if we leave the carnival? Where will we go? What difference does it make as long as we get out of here? And what do you want? Oh, nothing, sir. I was just looking for Mr. Marco. Marco the Magnificent. How does he do it, Chaco? Every time we play another scrubby rat comes along looking for Marco the Magnificent. What did he do? Promise to Mario? Oh, no, sir. He just did some tricks. I bet he did. Oh, you'd never believe it, sir. First he held up his hand, and it was empty. And then he reached behind my ear, and there was a cigarette in it. It was just beautiful. You see this, Jaco? That's the public you want to spend your life playing for. Deem with the bumpkin so that a cheap cigarette trick is magic. Go home, you. If you know what's good for you, go home. It wasn't a cheap trick. It was magic. Oh, of course it was. It was. He just doesn't know because he didn't see it. But uh, he's right about one thing. You shouldn't be here. Uh, your parents, they might be worried. I can hear them now saying, oh, my goodness, sir, where is she? She should have been home hours ago. Now, if you hurry, you can be back in town in five minutes. But I don't come from this town. Oh, you don't? I come from Mira. Mira? Mira, near where? Oh, of course, Mira, near where? right here in my watch. It's my father's watch. He was a watchmaker, you know. They let me keep it when everything else was sold. Right, it's right here on the back. Made in mirror. Near where? Now you see why I can't just turn around and go back. Not after coming all this way. Do you have any idea what it took to get here? Poof. No. I came It's funny, but that's the way the 
I want to have a chance.